Let's review a 90s classic from Chanel, Platinum Mega Waist. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow my Instagram page. But that's right guys, Today we are reviewing one of the most classic fragrances from Chanel that is still pretty popular today, Platinum Egg Your Waist, and I'm so excited to be bringing this absolute classic for you guys. Now, Platinum Egg Your Waist has actually been on my wish list for a very, very long time, and I recently just acquired a bottle, and I'm so happy I finally have this beauty in my collection. Let's go over some information. Now, this fragrance was launched back in 1993, so the early 90s, and this actually makes it even older than I am. Now, of course, Platinum Egg Waste is the flanker of the original Egg Waste, which was launched in 1990. And to be honest with you, I don't really have much experience with the OG. Um, it's not really that popular. And for some reason, they don't really sell them at department stores like Macy's, Dillard's, etc. But you still can find the Platinum Egg Waste. Even though Egg Waste isn't discontinued, I think you can only get it on like the Chanel website or something like that, but this is a flanker. Now for the retail price, which I think is very reasonable, is $110 for the 100 ml bottle. That honestly isn't too bad when you compare it to others from the house of Chanel, like Blue de Chanel, which I think is like 140 now, at least for the EDP, but yeah, definitely not a bad price tag. Concentration is an Eau de Toilette, and the perfumer behind Platinum Mega Waste is the iconic Jack Poles, which used to be the in-house perfumer for Chanel. He's created so many for the brand, and so he actually passed it down to his son, Olivier Poles, who is now the in-house perfumer. But at the end of the day, Jack Poles is an absolute master perfumer and has created so many iconic fragrances. Now with all that information out of the way, let's go look at the packaging and presentation you get with Platinum Mega Waste now. Okay, take a look at this really metallic kind of silver box that has a huge reflection on it. Of course you have Platinum Mega Waste Pour Homme, which means for men. Chanel Paris Eau de Toilette, this is the 100 ml. On the bottom you will find your batch code and barcode to authenticate your product and see when it was produced. On the back you just have some of your information and ingredients. And nothing really so special about the box. It's your typical designer fragrance box. So let's look at the bottle now. All right, take a look at this bottle. It does look very iconic and classy. Of course, you have that transparent glass. So you can see the juice inside, which I always like. You have that metallic silver cap with this uh, Chanel logo on the top. On the bottom, you do have engraved your information and probably your batch code as well. Nothing on the back and the cap isn't the most weighted it probably is plastic but it does click on very very tight so you can't pick it up by the cap in the top you have lavender rosemary neroli and pettigrain the mid you have geranium clary sage galbanum and jasmine and in the base you have oak moss vetiver cedar sandalwood and amber and this fragrance will be classified as a fresh spicy so let's spray it and test out this atomizer that sprays a ton of juice. Even though it's not pressurized, all you really need to do is press that once and you're gonna get a ton of mist on your skin. Now, looking at the note breakdown, obviously you're gonna be expecting a very green aromatic fragrance. So, let's remind myself of this opening. Now, Platinum Mega Waste was actually my scent of the day today, so I lived with this fragrance throughout the entire day, got to know it even more than I already have. It was actually recently featured on my top 10 spring fragrances of 2023 because it's a phenomenal spring fragrance, but of course, we'll talk about that a little bit later. That just shows how much I really enjoy and appreciate this fragrance. Now, in that top, what I get is a very spicy, sharp lavender note that just makes it very, very fresh. It's a very fresh, spicy lavender. That does give it obviously that barbershop fougere kind of quality to it, which some people would maybe say this is a little bit dated now since it is basically a 30 year old fragrance at the time of this recording. I would honestly say this has aged very, very well. I necessarily wouldn't say this is dated. It doesn't really smell out of date or old school or anything like that, but it definitely does have those qualities that is associated with fragrances back in the early 90s. I think the original Egg Waste is probably dated, but for some reason, the way they made this really metallic and that platinum name does bring a modern twist to this DNA, which is crazy to think about a modern twist back in the early 90s. Yeah, this is definitely aged like fine wine. 
Now, along with that fresh, slightly spicy lavender note, you are gonna get this very minty rosemary. Yeah, the rosemary in that lavender is very, very dominant. You also do get that sharp neroli, which is bringing that sharpness, that piercing touch to the opening of this that is very green. And to be honest with you, neroli is one of my least favorite floral notes. I've never really got along with neroli. It just does not do anything for me, guys. But luckily, the neroli is a backbone to that opening alongside that lavender and rosemary note combined together. And also, of course, coming from Chanel, you are going to expect a very high quality ingredients. And you actually do get high quality ingredients with this one. It does not smell cheap. It doesn't smell really synthetic or anything like that. I categorize Chanel as probably the best designer brand outside, of course, of Louis Vuitton and Tom Ford. Like the best designer brand in this realm, at least. So once we finally start making our way into the mid of Platinum Mega Waste is where you're going to get that geranium. Now, the geranium does give it a green, rosy nuance to this composition. Now, it's not necessarily a rose fragrance at all, but you can definitely detect a rosiness from that geranium, which most of the time that note does resemble rose very well and alongside that geranium is where that clary sage is going to come into play with that lavender and rosemary also now clary sage is probably one of my least favorite notes when it comes to like aromatic herbal green notes there's just something off-putting about sage to me that i just do not like obviously like effing fabulous has a huge sage note not a fan of that fragrance at all and the sage definitely is pretty prominent but the way it kind of disguises itself along with the lavender and rosemary makes it decent to me finally when we get our way into the base you are going to be left with a very well done earthy oak moss note that just keeps bringing that kind of classy classic masculine gentlemanly vibe to this fragrance combined together with that vetiver in the base now the vetiver isn't really grassy it's not a smoky vetiver it's not really a dark vetiver to my nose, it's more so like a clean, easygoing vetiver. Now, vetiver is actually a note that can smell a thousand different ways. Like I said, it could be smoky, it could be wet, it could be dry, it could be clean, it can be dark, etc. But like I said, in this fragrance, it just brings a nice cleanness to the base. I'm not really getting any woodiness from the cedar or sandalwood or even like any warm resinous amber either. Just mostly the oak moss and vetiver is what you're going to be left with for the majority of the lifetime of this fragrance. I just have to say, if you're a lover of classic aromatic, Aromatic Fougere Barber Stop style fragrances. Platinum Mega Waste, I think, is a must have in your collection, especially if you're like a gentleman and you like those old school fragrances. You cannot go wrong with this one, guys. And what I would recommend if you're in the market for like a Chanel fragrance, stay away from like Bloody Chanel's or the Alert Home Sports and get yourself Platinum Mega Waste and smell like a man, guys. You're absolutely gonna stand out because so many people are wearing the others from Chanel, but a lot of people, especially like my age in this generation, this doesn't really lean towards them, but I'm telling you guys, you have to check this one out. Do not overlook it. At least give it a try in the department store. But I do have to tell you, if you do actually try this one on like a test strip, this is a fragrance you have to warm up to. It's not going to be like a love at first sniff, especially guys my age or in my generation, of course, because it definitely does have that old school masculine vibe about it. It's not like a modern kind of soapy shower gel fragrance like Blue de Chanel. But once you start appreciating like high-end perfumery and stuff like that, you will start to really love this one and it will grow on you. Now let's talk about the best seasons and occasions to wear Platinum Mega Waste. To me guys, if I had to choose out of the four seasons, this one it definitely suits the best in the fall and springtime. Not necessarily like the very kind of sickening cold winters and not really like the high heats of summer because it's not aquatic, it's not citrusy, nothing like that. Just very green and herbal and aromatic, so perfect for the fall and spring. Even though you could easily pull this one off all year round if you really wanted to and you only wanted to get one fragrance as a signature, but to me, it definitely works best for those two seasons. Now for occasions, this one was a little bit tricky because to my nose, it definitely leans more on the formal side. This is the kind of fragrance you want to spray on if you're dressing up or you're doing something in regards to business because once you spray this fragrance on, and you have that aroma around you, you're absolutely gonna get stuff done. There's just something so motivating about this fragrance. Once you spray it, you just like become the boss, you become the CEO. It pretty much just gives you that drive to get stuff done and be productive at work. So without a doubt, leans on the formal side. But like I said earlier, if you want it to be a signature scent, you could pull it off casually as well. 
So for gender and age groups, without a doubt, a masculine fragrance. There's nothing feminine about this at all. This is for the ultra gentleman, ultra masculine guy. It just wants to be taken serious and not mess around. That's the vibe that this gives off. And when it comes to age groups of Platinum Mega Waste, this is without a doubt a very mature fragrance. Even for me, when I spray this one on, guys, this is gross hair on my chest. That's how mature this stuff comes across. So the only way, if you are a younger guy like myself or in like your early 20s or whatever, the only way you would appreciate this one is if you like those old school fragrances. If you're not into that style of fragrances, you will not like this one at all and you will be targeted towards like Blue de Chanel, Sauvage, etc. But like I said, if you're a younger guy and you appreciate fragrances, you appreciate those old school classic fragrances that remind you of your father or something like that, Platinum Mega Waste is for you. Let's wrap things off talking on the performance as usual. So with this one, I got around average performance when it comes to the longevity department. Now. I got around eight hours of solid longevity on my skin throughout the day today since it was my scent of the day. Where this one actually takes off and shines is with the projection in Siosh. Whoa. This stuff pushes off the skin very strong. Now this is of course an EDT concentration and how I pretty much describe it as Eau de Toilette usually most of the time project more than like an Eau de Parfum or an Extrait de Parfum because at the end of the day what makes a fragrance project off of the skin is the alcohol concentration. So in the EDTs, you are getting more alcohol, which pushes off the aromas that are mixed into the fragrance. So yeah, this one pushes off the skin strong for around four hours. I also think what is helping with that projection is that sharpness from the opening of Platinum Mega Waste. And the Sea Oz stuff leaves, guys, whoa. I was just in heaven today walking around wearing this one and I didn't even do many sprays. I only did actually four sprays of this today. It's actually pretty light for me. A lot of times I'll spray heavy, like 10 or so sprays. But when you spray less on yourself, the more you can actually smell it and less others can. If you spray more, you'll go nose blind to it quicker, but other people can smell you better. So I've been testing fragrances obviously for reviews and stuff like that. So I've been spraying a little bit less to see how the fragrance develops on my skin and get to know it more and see how the performance is. So if you are a guy looking for something that just projects heavy and leaves a nice scent trail, you will not be disappointed with Platinum Mega Waste. I promise you that. This stuff is very solid. But that's gonna do it for the review of this classic 90s release from Chanel. Let me know down below if you ever tried Platinum Mega Waste, if you ever tried Egg Waste, and let me know which one you prefer out of the two and how they differ. I'm really curious about that. But besides that, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see all of you back here in my next upload. Take care, everybody.